Hello, and welcome to this how-to series for Sitecore Experience Commerce. My name is Rob Earlham, and today we're going to be looking at how you can manage all of the promotions that you have configured for your site. You can see that I've loaded up the Sitecore Commerce business tools, and I'm going to start by jumping into the merchandising section. If you look at the catalogs we have listed here, you'll see there's a column for promotion book name. A promotion book is what is used to store all of the promotions that have been configured for that catalog. In this case, it's called Habitat Promotion Book. Once more, using the menu on the left, we're going to go into the Promotions section. And this lists all of the promotion books that have been configured for this instance. We can see the Habitat Promotion Book, so let's jump straight in. Once you load this up, you get a couple of sections at the top, listing IDs and versions and descriptions. But the really interesting part is the section at the bottom, and that's this promotions list. Here, you can see all of the promotions that have been added to this promotion book. You can see the name, a description giving further details about what that promotion is, a display name which gets used in the cart, and also its status, whether it's in draft, meaning it's still being worked on, or if it's approved, which means it's available and active on the site. Finally, you also have a disable column, allowing you to turn promotions on and off after they've been approved. So let's take a look into one of these promotions. I'm gonna load up this cart free shipping promotion. When you load up the promotion, you get your initial summary panel, giving you things like the database ID and its entity version. The next panel, the details panel, gives you information around a date range that the promotion has been configured to be valid for. You get display text and also cart display text. So cart display text being what's used on the storefront. And you get a description, allowing you to enter a few details about what the promotion actually is. It states whether the promotion is exclusive, and that means whether this promotion can be combined with other promotions, allowing users to apply more than one to the same cart. In this case, it's set to false, and that means that this promotion can be combined with other ones, allowing the user to apply more than one promotion to their cart at a time. And we also get the promotion book name and its status as approved. The next section is an items section. This allows you to specify a subset of the products that are available on the site, that this promotion can be applied to. In this case, that hasn't been populated, so it's available across all the products on the site. The next section we get to is the qualifications section. And a qualification basically specifies a list of rules that the end user has to meet in order to achieve this promotion. In this case, we can see that two qualifications have been applied. The first condition is a cart subtotal condition. This specifies that if the user's cart subtotal is greater than or equal to $100, then they've met that condition. They also have a second condition there, which states that the cart has fulfillment. That means that the user has gone in and entered their shipping details. If we keep scrolling down, the next section we have is the benefits section. Once a user browsing the store matches all of the qualifications that have been specified in the qualifications section, then they're granted the benefit that has been assigned in the benefits section. You can see one benefit has been applied here, and that gives the user free shipping. And when you look at the qualifications and the benefits combined, that gives you the basic logistics of this promotion, which is free shipping when a cart has $100 or more stock in it. The final two sections on the bottom are for coupons, and we'll be covering those in a later video. So that's talked us through an existing promotion, but let's go and create one of our own. I'm gonna return back to the promotion book level. Here, we're gonna use the action buttons on the right to create a new promotion. And we're gonna create a promotion where if the user has more than $200 worth of stock in their cart, we're gonna give them 10% off the total. So we'll give it a name. We'll give it a display name, which is a friendly version of that. And we're gonna make this valid for the month of December. We'll 
we're going to use the same display text. And for the text that's displayed in the cart, we'll go with something a little different. Finally, we'll populate the description. And we can confirm that. Now we can see our promotions listed there. And its status is set to draft, meaning it's not available on the site yet. But we've still got a little bit of work to do before we can enable it. So let's load it up. Here we can see in the summary and details sections the values we entered on the previous screen. But I'm going to scroll down and start to add my qualifications. Initially, we need to ensure that the user has $200 worth of product in their cart. And we have a rule for that out of the box. And that's the cart subtotal compares to specific value rule. So we'll select that and tick the blue tick. Next, we have to choose the operator and the subtotal. The operator lets us define how we're comparing the value. For example, do we want a value that is below a certain threshold, above a certain threshold, or equal to a threshold? In this case, I want to go greater than or equal to. And I'm going to set the subtotal to 200. So if we take a look at this qualification, we can see that it says, if the cart subtotal is greater than or equal to 200, then the user's met the qualification. I'm happy with that, so let's hit the tick and we'll carry on. We can see that listed in the qualifications section. So let's move down to the benefits and we'll set that up too. Once more, you get a series of benefits provided for you out of the box. And in this case, I wanna go down to the get cart subtotal specific percent off. We hit the tick and then we can enter the value. Here's where we set the percentage that is going to be removed from the cart total. In this case, 10%. We can confirm that and see it's now listed in the benefits section. And I'm pretty happy with everything here. The last thing we have to do is approve the promotion. And we do this using the action button on the right of the details panel. Once you click on that, you'll see an option to request approval. Selecting that allows you to enter a comment for context. And we can see the status has been updated. It's now set to ready for approval. Once more, we can use the same action button and we can approve it. And that's it. We can see the status has been approved. This is now active and available to be used on the site. We can return back to the promotion book and you can see it's listed there. A status is approved. Its disabled value is set to false. So now, any users who browse the storefront, whenever they add $200 worth of stock into their cart, they'll receive 10% off the total. Hopefully that's shown you how easy it is for you to create and approve promotions that are available on your Sitecore Experience Commerce site. Don't forget to come back and watch the rest of the series. Thanks.